All right, what's going on, everybody? I'm Blitz5, and in today's video, I'm going over the new zombie mode in PUBG. Oh my god, that's a lot of zombies. This is a temporary game mode via PUBG Labs, accessible on the main menu, and is currently live on PC. It will be available on console next week, August 12th, with the launch of Update 13.1. This game mode is set on the bridge of the training map, Camp Jackal, and is focused around eliminating waves of zombies similar to the horde mode featured in other games. The main objective is to survive for 10 rounds. You can do so by killing all of the zombies in each wave or by staying alive for 3 minutes. At the beginning of each round, you are given a deagle, 1 frag grenade, and a level 3 backpack. Killing a zombie gives you 5 survival coins, which you can use to purchase select items. Getting a headshot will double your points and earn you 10 coins. As a tip, it's super helpful to focus on getting headshots in the first two rounds to save up as many coins as possible. The zombies move very slow in the beginning and are really not a threat at all. In the later stages, things get a bit more hectic, so you'll be doing whatever you can to stay alive. Currently, the new zombie mode is available in squads only, FPP, and TPP, and you'll be happy to know that there is no friendly fire. There's also no down but not out, aka getting knocked, and if you are eliminated, you will come back the next round as long as one of your teammates remains alive. As a penalty, you will lose any new weapons that were purchased, but your coin amount will remain the same. After playing a handful of rounds and surviving to the final wave, I have a few tips and tricks to share, but I'm sure the meta will change over time. If you have any good strats, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. Also, if you've enjoyed the video so far, please consider subscribing or dropping a like. In the early rounds, you can stand near the blue and shoot the zombies as they spawn. This is also a great opportunity to land easy headshots. In my opinion, you should try to stick with the pistol as long as you can to save up as many coins as possible. I preferred upgrading to the S12K shotgun over the ARs because it seemed to save more ammo and work better against the swarms of zombies. Using the pistol and shotgun also make it a lot easier to save for a better weapon like the M249 which seems to be one of the best options minus the long reload time. Also grenades and panzers are crucial in the later stages when the zombies gather in large clusters. Grenades and panzers only cost 20 and 25 coins respectively. So if you take out at least a handful of zombies, you will break even on your purchase. I left my second weapon spot open so I could continually replenish my Panzer. Two next level strats are to use the explosives where the zombies are spawning and to also use them near your teammates because friendly fire is off, which will not only help eliminate the zombies, but also help keep your teammates alive, which is super important in the later stages. And lastly, just for fun, you may or may not have noticed that one of the melee weapons from the Fantasy BR mode has actually made its way into the zombie mode, but I haven't been able to save up enough money to use it. It's actually the most expensive weapon in the game at 2,000 coins, and I'm assuming that this probably does massive damage and may even move some of the zombies out of the way, so this could be a fun side quest or side goal to try and get this weapon along with beating the game. Remember that this is only available for 12 days, so good luck and have fun out there in the training mode zombie battlegrounds. And as always, thank you all for watching. I'm Blitz5, and peace out. What is happening? Just throwing so many nades. Underhand nades everywhere. Get out of my life.